I'm not saying I'm Batman. I'm just saying you've never seen Batman and I in the same room together. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> The band started about like three years ago, and you know, we started. I had a, a friend of mine who lived here in town, another guitar player, his name was Jay Quivisto. Uh, him and I were like trying to get a band together, and like at that time, I went to a party, and the first time I met Scott, our lead singer, and he was like jamming out and singing to the jukebox. And I like look at the guy, I was like, kid, he, he, he can sing, you know, want to play in a band. And he was like sort of a joke at the time, and he's like, yeah, you know, hell yeah, I'll, I'll play, you know, I'll sing and whatever. So that, that being said, um, you know, a few weeks later, I think it was close to Halloween, and uh, I got a gig here in town, the bar, and I called the guys up and say, hey, well, we got a gig, and everyone was like, whoa, panicking. So we had like 20 days to get this band together. And so at a time, Scott knew Tim, the drummer, and he brought him over, you know, introduced to me, and we kind of got things going. In about 20, 25 days, we had our first gig. <laughs> uh, the name of the band came about, uh, I think it was our second practice. Um, we decided we, we needed something, so being as we had two weeks to put um, a 30, 40 song show together, four hours worth, um, I said, you know, this is awful short notice. That'd be a great name for the band. When the members of the band finally all got together and played, um, it was something like I've never experienced before. Um, we gelled really, really well, and we kind of fed off of each other's energy, and um, it, it worked out really well. We had a good time together, and um, the music sounded great. The music sounded really great, so we, uh, we knew we had something that was going to work out for a while. Standing on the hilltop, just, oh, Black Medic, Maryland, oh, Black Medic, Maryland. You should do it. You should do it. You should do it. Fuck me, you should do nothing. <laughs> All right. One more to all go. We play a lot of uh, street dances and festivals this summer. And during the winter, it's more like bars. Pretty much bars around here. Uh, we played weddings before. And... You don't want to try it? <laughs> really? Why not? You don't smoke? I don't either. I just quit. <laughs> I just quit right now. <laughs> um, we played Creek Fest. Um, that was my first gig with these guys. In this band, I feel like I'm able to express myself in that way. I'm just able to let go and sing loud and play crazy and do my thing. And I'm not going to be judged by that. Sometimes I feel that maybe there's not a connection because people just want to get drunk and hear a jukebox play, basically. They want to hear their favorite songs, you know. They want to hear uh, Leonard Skinner or whatever. <laughs> but um, as a musician, I just, I want to go beyond that so much, you know. I just want to play. It's kind of like an artist, like a painter, just going to town on a canvas, you know. He, he, he's not trying to do any kind of set thing, he's not practicing, he's not following any set order, he's just throwing paint at a canvas and that's how I want to be as a musician. In a bar situation, it's not there sometimes. The, the biggest problem we've probably had in any bar is that people want to hear a jukebox. They want to hear Miley Cyrus in a rock tune and these guys aren't that. <laughs> Two different forms. One
one with the, the lead singer, Scott, and one without the lead singer, Scott. And they were both fun. I think we, we, we did one without Scott just because the logistics of getting everyone um, around um, to do something like recording um, is tough sometimes. So it's, it's, it's really hard when you have families and when you have jobs and when you have those other things going to set aside time to do an intensive project like recording or something like that. So. The hardest thing about being in the band is the scheduling. Between my work and Scott living over in Marshalltown, Enrique finally just finished up his college, so that frees up some time. But um, the travel and the expenses, um, I mean, it all adds up, and a lot of that comes out of our pocket. Um, I read a saying once that said, uh, musicians are the only people that will load up $5,000 worth of gear into a $500 car to drive 100 miles for 50 bucks. There's a lot of truth to that. There's a lot of truth to that. For us, I think the location of the members, usually it's the, the hardest thing. You know, like Brooks living like a half an hour away and Scott almost like three hours away. So it's hard to get together and, you know, and just practice and stuff like that. I'd like to see the band go far, but, um, you know, we've got a long ways to go to get towards our expectations, you know. We're, we're still fairly new and we don't have a lot of our original songs yet. Um, it's one of the things I think we're gonna be working on. We're trying to play shows locally, uh, mainly for ease because a lot of our band members, or most of the band members, can't travel three days away and then come back. They can't do, you know, an eight hour road trip, play a two hour show, and do that eight-hour road trip back because they got to be up to work the next day. For the way we all stand in life right now, we all have our day jobs, like family, kids. It's hard to put like a name in the band, like oh, we want to become famous and be rock stars. It's almost like impossible. But and you, you can't really predict those things. Like sometimes they just happen, or you know, or they they don't. Like for now, the band has a goal to go on a tour down to Brazil where I'm from, you know, just so they, I just want to take the band and, and show them around, see where, where I come from too. So that's our main goal for, for the moment. I had the radio on, there's a preacher. He told me if I sent him $20, he'd tell my prayer on the radio. All I had to do was uh, fill out an envelope, send it to Los Angeles, and I did. And I'll tell you, the next week, to the radio, they said my prayer, and it all 